That's right. This right here is one of many that could lose some trips while others may be eliminated altogether. You can see here is the notice of public hearings for people who depend on this bus to read and hopefully share how they feel about this. Cuts are reasonable, but not now and not to this level. Jeff Schreier commutes to DC twice a week for work. He takes the 345 MTA bus from Columbia. It's one of 26 that could soon see its routes reduced. So right now, I know that our agency and a lot of other agencies are requiring people to come back now where they haven't been historically, so they're cutting at the wrong time and they're cutting too deeply. They should wait to see the impact of the new requirements in DC before they make the cuts. The Maryland Department of Transportation is facing a multi billion dollar deficit in their next budget cycle. Part of making up for that means the MTA has to figure out how to maintain services that match system wide demand. I'm lucky in a sense that they're not cutting this route altogether. Uh, some people are losing the route completely. The proposed plan would discontinue service at eight routes and reduce trips at 26 starting July 1st. The MTA says ridership has changed since the pandemic. Before the pandemic, commuter buses operated 635 trips across 36 routes with an average daily ridership of 12,000. Now it's 599 trips across the same routes with 5,100 people a day. Riders say traffic is back to pre pandemic levels and their proposed plan will not be effective. By cutting these lines, you're only putting more cars on the road and it's only making everything worse. Now the next virtual hearing is tomorrow at 10 a.m. If you want to see the full list of routes that are impacted, go to WBALTV.com. For now, live in Columbia, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.